Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome back to 2K Lab. Today we're going to be doing a badge test for you and it's going to be on the Limitless Range Shooting Badge. So quick shout out to our guy Tony from The Six, who provided us with tons of Limitless Range Shooting clips from the Rag and from the Freeway Free in the Park. So make sure you check out his YouTube. As for the badge test, I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. We were able to figure out the percentage increase per badge level at their respective ratings. We were also able to do that in different distances from Limitless Range. So you have your regular Limitless and your farther Limitless. So hopefully you guys can help us get this video to a thousand likes plus. And if you'd like to see more advanced stats on badges and jump shots and even tools to help you with your My Player builds, come to NBA2KLab.com all year long. So we tested this badge at two different distances of Limitless. The first one is what we call regular Limitless, which is 29 feet 8 inches. And the other distance we tested in, we called it Limitless Far, and that is from 32 feet 4 inches. Now in regards to the attribute ratings used for the test, we did one set of tests where we used different badge levels, but all at the 85 rating. And then we also did another set of tests, that is the actual rating of the requirement needed to unlock the badge. So let's begin by looking at Limitless at 85 rating, different batch levels and from the 29 feet 8 inches distance and as you can see this year you can actually make the shot with no badge to make percentage is decently high at about 55 percent and the moment you get into bronze though there is a jump and then silver go to hall of fame the increase is not that significant now if we keep the same rating but we take the distance into that limitless far range which is 32 feet 4 inches you can see that the jump from none to bronze once again very high but same thing, once we get to silver, gold, and hall of fame, that increases a minuscule compared to the jump you're going to get from none to bronze. And because of the increased distance, you can see the green window now is much smaller compared to the regular limitless. Now let's move on to looking at limitless range by batch level and their respective unlock ratings at regular limitless distance. And if you take this and compare it to 2K23's limitless, you can tell that the center of the green window in last year's game is 25% bigger compared to 2K24. And if you look at the make percentage dead center of the green window from no batch to hall of fame last year, is a boost about 65%. But this year, same location, dead center, no batch to hall of fame is only at about 25%. So for those of you who feel shooting with limitless range is much harder this year, well that's because the center of the green window has gone through major size reduction and the make percentages themselves, the boosts are also smaller. And here we have limitless range per batch level from the far distance. So this is 32 feet 4 inches plus at their respective unlock ratings. And you can see the center of the green window size has reduced even further because of the distance while Bronze is having a big jump again compared to no badge, while Silver, Gold, and Hall of Fame has kind of small increases considering how much investment you need to get those. As for our recommendation, Bronze is definitely worth your trouble as the investment it takes to get it is not that much. Silver and Gold is kind of hard to justify because of what it takes and just how little you get in return of it. If you want to go high, there's really no reason to go any higher than 92, but really you wouldn't really need it. But this badge looks like it's most valuable at Bronze. So please add us a like to get this video to a thousand like plus. And also if you know anyone that got questions about limitless range, you can share this video with them to help us grow. As always, thanks for coming by. Make sure to check out NBA2GetUp.com for more information. And I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.